Hello everyone, welcome back to the Northwest Geology Guy. My name's Scott and we're going to talk today about something that I find extremely cool. It's um, just been kind of released, but they've known about it since 2009. That right offshore here along the Cascadia fault line and a little bit inward, they found uh, hundreds of uh, gas plumes, uh, little bubbles coming up with methane gas and not in this article but in another article I read it's not only releasing methane but also ancient uh, helium-3 which is really rare uh, it's found uh, oh like in plumes from Yellowstone that come from deep with inside the mantle and um, so it's really hard to, uh, rare to find it anywhere uh, up on the surface but uh, um, What's interesting about this is it kind of follows along the cascade line, the fault line. And um, they said if you were down in Vancouver, Washington, you could walk on the seafloor uh, all the way to the Columbia River and never be out of sight of one of the plumes. Um, that's kind of interesting, but I think they estimated about 1,778 plumes. But they said if they go out to uh, uh, and find a plume, they'll mark it on their GPS. And when they come back later to that location, it's no longer there. So they're kind of intimate and they'll hit be here one time and pop up somewhere else. But what they believe is happening is um, as the uh, one of Fuca subducts under the North American plate, it scrapes off a little bit of the Wanda Fuca plate as it's uh, going underneath. If you kind of use your hand and uh, make one go underneath the other one, you can feel uh, the friction uh, on the hand that you're subducting under your other hand. And that's what how we get uh, new shoreline. This is all, uh, I can almost guarantee all of this is from the Wanda Fuca or Farallon plate. The Farallon plate was an ancient, gigantic uh, uh, oceanic plate that ran from Alaska all the way down into South America. It was gigantic But as uh, the North America started to cross over the East Pacific rise um, And subduct a lot of the Wanda Fuca plate. I mean the Farallon plate All we have left now is the Wanda Fuca plate, which is actually the same pl uh, Farallon plate, but they just renamed it since it's smaller but um uh, that's how you get uh, land accreted onto uh, another continent. Uh, but, you know, it takes a long time. And, and say, our great-great-great-grandchildren still won't see any difference. It takes uh, thousands of years uh, for this to occur because it moves only about three to five uh, centimeters a year. And the scraping process is all done underwater. So it takes a long time to, to build it up to where we can see it. But... Um, the same thing happened down in uh, California well, as it was crossing over uh, the Farallon Plate at that time. Uh, sections were kind of coming up and, and just falling on top of it. And as the uh, North American Plate was still uh, progressing to the uh, west, southwest, uh, it would come up and slap down in like little stacks. And that's where the gold deposits uh, um started to drop in between the the cracks there and that's uh since 1850 they found just thousands of pounds or thousands of ounces of uh, gold in those areas but um that's another subject of mine that's a hobby of mine is prospecting so um we'll get back here to the subduction zone but as you can see it's pretty widespread and, and concentrated a lot around the actual fault line but it does creep back up uh, here but they said that um, uh, as the plates meet it creates a lot of heat and pressure on the area that's subducting and it squeezes out uh, the methane and the helium-3 out of it and um, then it sends it to the surface and bubbles but um, Man, that's that's something that I found really interesting. Does it uh, tell us anything about uh, when the next subduction zone quake uh, will happen? That's yet to see. 
Uh, I could see that means that there's under extreme pressure that uh, it could be ready to go. Or like uh, Mr. Johnson from the UW, the, the lead author of this story, um, said that uh, man, it's been a natural feature that's probably gone on for thousands of years. So, you know, it's anybody's guess. It's one guy may say it's a threat. The other guy may say, uh, like he did, uh, it's been going on for thousands of years and has little threat to, to a rupture. But um, I just thought you guys would enjoy this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link uh, to this article in the description box. So go down and uh, check it out uh, if you have time to read it. But I just thought this was extremely interesting when I ran across it. But I can tell you that it seems like new. St I find new stuff that's current, not ancient, but new stuff that is coming out like almost all the time. And, you know, I'd have to do a, a video or two a day to show you everything that uh, I'm locating. But, you know, some things are not that interesting. And some things are just a repeat of uh, older uh, uh, papers and reports on that. So I kind of filter out, uh, you know, the, the exciting things from just the, the average papers. But um, I'll go ahead and do that. And please remember to subscribe and click the, the bell for uh, notifications of further videos and uh, give me a thumbs up and please 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 leave me a comment and uh, what you think about it um, is it a threat or isn't it and uh, I want to thank all of my new subscribers uh, I've noticed that uh, we've jumped about 15 subscribers in the last week or two and for me that's pretty good I don't you know being a, ge a geology uh, uh, creator you don't get usually an awful lot of people, but uh, I'm really happy for all of you that subscribes, uh, subscribed, and it means a lot to me that uh, I do have some followers and some dedicated people that watch every video that I put out and comment. So you guys all have a great night. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one.